645 is the time now, and the Redskins name debate followed them all the way to their game last night in Dallas. Commissioner Roger Goodell weighed in again, as did the Cowboys owner and one of the game's broadcasters. Our Chris Van Cleve is live from FedEx Field this morning with more. So, Chris, what is everyone saying this morning? Well, Autry, uh, excuse me, Jumi, good morning. You know, that this debate is not calming down. Last week, President Obama said if he was the owner of the Redskins, he would think about changing the name. And then, of course, there were demonstrations in the D.C. area. There was much talk about it at the owners' meetings. All of this building the controversy ahead of last night's game. And before kickoff, Roger Goodell, the NFL commissioner, and the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, Jerry Jones, met with season ticket holders in Dallas. That's when Goodell was asked about this Redskins name controversy again. Goodell said the league has to be sensitive enough to at least listen and see what can be done if it's insulting any any element of its fan base. Now, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones supported Snyder. They're, the two of them are friends. He added he believes that Snyder is weighing the controversy against the enormous sentiment towards tradition, and it would be a real mistake to think Snyder has a lack of sympathy. Fast forward to halftime, and sportscaster Bob Costas gave his take to the nation. Take a listen. Ask yourself what the equivalent would be if directed toward African Americans, Hispanics, Asians or members of any other ethnic group when considered that way Redskins can't possibly honor a heritage or a noble character trait nor can it possibly be considered a neutral term it's an insult a slur no matter how benign the present day intent and yesterday, excuse me, and last week, you may remember Daniel Snyder sent out an email to Redskins season ticket holders talking about the controversy. In that email, Snyder wrote, the name was never a label. It was and continues to be a badge of honor. Certainly, this debate likely to continue as the Redskins season wears on. We are live from FedEx Field this morning. Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News.